Happy holidays. I'm Eliza Kozlowski and I have the honor of serving as the chair of St. John's Foundation. I welcome you to our annual Illumination of Love celebration, albeit virtually. Each year thousands of lights are purchased among St. John's community in honor or memory of loved ones. These lights brighten the courtyard for St. John's, helping us to celebrate the season. But more importantly, each light purchase is also a contribution that supports the personal needs of St. John's residents. I'm pleased to tell you that your donations have helped to provide items such as new clothing and shoes, haircuts, electric razors, a Kindle, a new laptop, and many more personal items for residents in need. Particularly in 2020, your donation supported iPads and tablet stands for every neighborhood in St. John's, as well as the Hawthorne at St. John's Meadow. Thanks to you, residents have been able to FaceTime and video chat with family members during this extremely difficult year. In fact, these iPads are in use some 150 times each week. You can see the importance of your gifts to the illumination of love. Truly, your gifts directly impact the quality of life for residents. From the bottom of my heart and behalf of the board of the foundation, I thank you. Hi, I'm Charlie Runyon, wishing you a very happy holiday season. Though this has been a very challenging year, one of the things that we know we can always count on here at St. John's is the generosity and the kind support of our St. John's community. While we continue to provide care and protect the safety of our residents in all our communities, St. John's Home, St. John's Meadows, Brickstone, and the Penfield Greenhouse Homes, we find that you have sincerely lifted us up. We felt your thoughtfulness and caring over the last several months with your many gifts to the foundation, and in particular, your illumination of love gifts that help meet the personal needs of our residents. On behalf of the social work department, we just want to say thank you to all of those who have donated to the illumination of love and those who choose to donate in the future. Right now, it means a lot to our residents and their families. I have been able to use illumination of love um, with one of my residents who needed some new clothes and was not able to ask her family due to their financial limitations with COVID. Um, so we reached out to Illumination of Love and we were able to get her a week's worth of clothing. Useful things, everyday things like electric razors for the gentlemen or books and magazines for our females and ladies. Recently, I had a resident who is an avid reader. She reads probably seven to 10 books a week. Um, and she isn't always able to get to our library here. And for a while I know that um, she didn't have access to the library. Illumination of Love um, helped us get her a Kindle. Um, so she's able to read any books that she wants, all the books that she wants. Providing her with a Kindle through Illumination of Love was very meaningful to her. We wish you guys were here with us for the tree lighting in person like we normally do. Um, we thank you so much for joining us online this year um, and we wish you a very happy holiday season. On behalf of St. John's, I'd like to thank the sponsors that have made our 2020 Illumination of Love possible. Our corporate sponsors, Bonadio Group and Beacon Solutions Group, Generations Child Care, SWBR, Underberg and Kessler. Our Footlight Sponsors, Accurate Acoustical, Hearing Loops Unlimited, Warren Paint and Decorating Center. And I thank you all, our friends and family, for thousands of lights and thousands of dollars that will make a great difference in the lives of the residents we serve. In a few minutes, we'll light the lights, but first, Reverend Sarah Culp will lead us in prayer, followed by the switching of the lights by resident Laura Smith. Let's pray together. Gracious God, you know how different and difficult this year has been. And yet, here we gather a testimony to the love that binds us, full of gratitude for the generosity of family, friends, and colleagues. Tonight, as a symbol of our faith and hope, we illuminate our courtyard reminding us of the light of your love and your promise that even though we walk through dark valleys, you are always with us, shining in the darkness, guiding our steps, warming our hearts, giving us hope. For all this, we give you thanks. 
Amen. I'm Ann McKenna, Executive Director of St. John's Foundation. I send my heartfelt thanks to you for all your generous and special gifts made to the illumination of love in honor and memory of your loved ones to support current St. John's residents. St. John's Foundation was launched in 1992 to raise and manage resources to benefit St. John's mission, which is to nurture and embrace life with caring and vital relationships. IOL is an important, time-honored event that helps St. John's to meet that mission. Since the early 1990s, this unique holiday event has taken place, raising funds especially designated for residents' personal needs. Each year, the fulfillment of these needs clearly enhances the quality of life for our residents. Traditionally, the IOL is a warm and festive event in which friends and family come together, turn up the lights, and kick off the holidays at St. John's. In 2020, of course, our event is different, but undoubtedly, your generosity has not at all been diminished or canceled. Thanks to your helping hands and your open hearts, this year's Illumination of Love is one of our most successful yet, with nearly 2,800 lights purchased, raising $13,900. That's a lot of lights. We are deeply grateful for your kind gifts, which will directly honor and benefit our residents. And now I'm happy to introduce to you one of those residents, Laura, better known as Mother Smith, will light up these many lights and brighten our home for the season. Mother, take it away. Can you thank God for what he doing for us and have us to be here because we did have us be here. And I thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 